Hi everyone. Um, so today I'm going to um, show you the, the first step in the analysis for our second paper. So remember our second paper of the semester is looking at um, the influence of topography and fine scale variability on species composition. Um, so what we're going to do is we've got to, the first step in our analysis is we've got to calculate importance value. That's the metric we're going to use um, to, to measure uh, species composition. Um, so to calculate importance value, we've got to calculate the relative density of each species in each plot and the relative basal area uh, of each species in each plot, right? So those will go be percentages that go from 0 to 100. We add them together, and so importance value will range from 0 to 200. Um, so the way this works, uh, here's our raw data in our Excel spreadsheet. So we've got plot 1, and we've got all the species in plot 1, um, every tree and then we go plot 2, plot 3, and so on. Okay, um, so there's the plot number, the species, so these are our standard uh, abbreviations, so the first two letters of the genus, the first two letters of the species, so P-I-E-D, Pinus edulis, that's pinion pine, P-I-P-O, Pinus ponderosa, and so on. Um, they're all live trees, so the status is going to be 1 on every one. And then uh, here's the diameter of breast height in centimeters. Uh, and then we've got basal area. Remember, basal area is the cross-sectional area of the stem. And we can calculate that from, um, from the diameter. And so here we have basal area in meters squared, and here's the, the conversion equation here based on the diameter. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to calculate for every plot uh, the, the relative density and the relative basal area of all the trees. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to use a pivot table in Excel, so insert pivot table. Select the data range, so I'm going to select those first five columns, and then I'm going to put it on a new worksheet. So here it is. I'm going to rename that worksheet pivot, P-I-V-O-T. Okay. Um, all right, so if I click on the table here, notice over here on the right I've got all my fields. So these are all my column headings, right? So plot, species, status, DBH, basal area. And then I can put those into different places in the table, right? So I want my plots to be my rows and my species to be my columns. So I'm going to take plot and just drag it right down here into rows. And now you see in our table over here, um, our plots zero to 60, 1 to 68 are the row labels. And then I'm going to take species and make that the column labels. So here's our species across the top. And then I want a count of species in each plot, so I'm going to take species again and drag it into the values box. And so now I see I have a count of all my species. And then I've got the total number of individuals in each plot on the right-hand column. So I'm going to copy this. I don't want to work in the pivot table because it gets messy. So I'm just going to copy the data. So Control-C to copy. Um, let's make a new tab. And I'm going to call this IV for importance value, and then I'm just going to paste, but I just want to paste the values, so I'm going to go over here, paste values, okay, so now I've got my row label, which I'm going to change to plot, I've got my species across the top, I don't need this blank column, and I've got my uh, plot totals, okay, now I want to use the same matrix again, I'm going to calculate relative density, so I'm going to copy this again, and I'm going to paste the same matrix over here. Okay, but I'm going to delete all my values because I'm going to put those values in. Delete. Okay, so I've got my plot numbers uh, as my rows and I've got my species as my columns. I don't need that last column. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to calculate you know, the percentage, right? So pen, uh, pinion pine 1 divided by 60, divided by the plot total. And I want to do that for all the trees. So in this first column, in the first cell, I'm going to type equals. I'm going to highlight the corresponding cell in the original data right there. Um, and then divided by my plot total. And then hit enter, and it's 0, right? Um, but uh, we want to we, we want to express this as a percentage, and we want to do, if we, we want to drag this across, right, and calculate it for the others, and we want to drag it down and calculate it for all the plots. Um, but that's going to be a problem because it's going to change the cell that we divide by. 
So what we want to do is hold that cell constant. So what I'm going to do is put a dollar sign in front of R, and that means we're going to divide by the same, uh, the same column every time. And then I also want to make it a percentage, so I'm going to put these in parentheses and divide the whole thing by, or I'm sorry, multiply the whole thing by 100. Okay, so now we can drag it across and there's the percentages, the relative density for each species. I'm going to make a column here and uh, just to check and see if it, it was correct, I'm going to sum this and it should equal 100, right? And it does. Um, so we did it for all the species and now we can drag this down and do it for all the plots. And right there, there's all our values. They all sum to 100. So we're in good shape. Okay, so that's relative density. Now we're also going to do relative basal area. So what I'm going to do is just to keep track here, I'm going to make this um, relative density just so I know which um, <coughs> which matrix I'm working with. <coughs> and now I'm going to create another one for basal area. So let's go back to our pivot table and I'm going to delete uh, count of species there and but I'm going to keep the row label the rows as plots and the columns as species and now I'm going to put basal area down here in the values but we don't want the count of basal area we want the sum right we want the sum of total basal area for all trees so if I click this arrow and go to value field settings here you can choose you know all different things and instead of count I want sum click OK so this is the total basal area of each species in the plot, and then there's the plot total. So now you can go through and do the same thing. You'll copy these, paste the values, um, and then put them over in your IV uh, spreadsheet here. And then all you've got to do is add uh, the relative density plus the relative basal area that you'll have over here, and that'll give you a new, um, a new matrix where you've got your plots as your rows, your species as your columns, and then you've got your importance value on a scale from 1 to 200 um, as your values in the matrix. So uh, give that a try, and then the rest of the materials for the rest of the steps of the analysis are all on the course website um, with the explanation, the tutorial, and some example code in R. Um, so good luck, and I'll see you in class.